Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy Chronic coming at you again today with another build video for NBA 2K21 Next Gen. The playoffs, the playoffs, the playoffs. They are in full swing, man. And this dude that I'm going to be making today, he's causing a lot of trouble for a team that was supposed to get to the least Western Conference Finals. He's probably the MVP of the playoffs so far. And you might know him as Luka Doncic, but I know him as Baby Bird. The reason they call him Baby Bird is because he just like Larry Bird, but he's a baby. He's 22, man. 22 years old, young kid, killing it. If y'all saw him the other night hitting them one foot step back threes, off dribble, pull away fades, the man is a problem. And I'm gonna make a build, two builds actually. I got y'all with two builds in next gen that one is gonna be the name that I think he is, and the other one's just gonna be the best Luca build by far. Very similar physicals and yeah, man, I hope y'all been enjoying the playoffs. Lakers are on a roll. Let's go, LA. And yeah, we got more games tonight. Right now, we got the Knicks going on in the background against Atlanta. Atlanta's pulling away. But let's get into this build, man. The Baby Bird, the Luka build. So we're going to go 6-7. First one's going to be a small forward. I think he's a point guard, but I think his natural like position as far as his height weight all that would be small forward he's 6 7 230 and then a 7 2 wingspan so this is the build that i think resembles his play style the best the next build is going to be exactly like his physicals and probably the best build to make both are good and i'll let y'all be the judge of which one you would like to make Hope y'all been doing good, man. Videos have been going crazy. Y'all been hitting the subscribe. We've been getting the shorts out there. We got jump shots coming out all the time. We'll do a dunk tutorial here soon. And yeah, everything's real good over here. So with the uh, with this build, I'll just say it. We're making a point forward. If you want a point forward in next gen, you gotta follow these steps exactly no mistakes have to have that 94 have to have that 71 the post control doesn't matter these matter and the free throw don't i think you have to have this all maxed out let's get to the physicals luca can't really jump out the gym but i want to at least be snagging boards and then this is important as well can only go up to a 74 defensive rebound you can max out the block and you can almost max out perimeter d but there's the bill right there man pretty simple pretty straightforward i would like a little bit on strength so can't really take that away we would lose two badges there Let's see how much strength we get with that perfect 50 strength i feel like luca is strong he's gonna get stronger too he's a little he's he's a kid man he's younger than me and he's killing it averaging the triple double 30 point triple doubles he's about to play here in a little bit man if y'all haven't watched luca play go watch him he's the best white boy in the game baby bird man going crazy oh yeah batch spread you got 8 15 25 16 not bad not bad for a small forward and you get a nice array of takeovers. You get the play take, you get the lock take, and you get the sharp take. So for Luca, I'm gonna go limitless because he's been stepping back and hitting that thing. And then I would go play take, honestly. I'll go. I would go team badge boost. That's just like the old play take. And you get a point forward. Peja Stojakovic, RJ Barrett, Jalen Brown. 
I feel like the point forward is exactly like Luka, man. He is a big point guard, a point forward. You can't make a better Luka build on a point forward. But, as we all know, 2K and the build system, you might want that name, but that's not the best build. You look at a lot of things that could be higher. Three point, defensive rebound, the dunk's nice. This build is liable. You can use this build for sure. 100% you could dominate with this build. You'll get outboarded a lot, but you could still drop a good amount of points, good rec build. It's a good build. I'm gonna show y'all now the best version of Luca. We're gonna go power forward, same everything else, 6'7", and with the weight, we're gonna go 228. Now if you see you go down, you only get two more speed, but you lose out on like 20 strength. And you only lose one acceleration. So I think being bigger will be better, especially if you're gonna play like Luca, man. So we're gonna max out the driving dunk, max out the driving layup, and max out standing in. That was another problem with that other build. No standing dunk. A standing dunk helps out a lot. And this build gets a lot more shooting badges. So for all y'all that think you need 22, this is the build for you. What I do like about both these builds though, is the amount of playmaking badges that you get. I like my playmaking badges. So having 25, I want that Dimer Hall of Fame or 24, that's a lot and that's a good amount. You're a point guard with 25 shooting badges. The way I look at this build, it's more like a, you're pretty much a play shot with 13 finishing badges and watch, wait till you see the defense. This is like the way I made my first builds in the game before I knew really about the game. the strength up to 43 you guys are probably like dude I thought you wanted to put up full strength all right bet you want full strength let's go let's go I thought that would get it it did not neither did that As you can see, you gotta do a lot to get max strength. So I'm not gonna do that. You can, but I'm not going to. I'd rather do the four shooting badges, or five. And I want one more finishing. I want a little bit of post control because Luca does work in the post. He goes to work down there, bro. We'll get 24. And you get that extra finishing badge. So as you can see with this one, you get 14, 22, 24, and 18. Dope badge spread, especially the 22 shooting badges. This is very similar to Luka. Exact height, almost exact weight, and exact wingspan. You are at the power forward position, but this build will go crazy. This is just like my first build that I made, except on my first build, I went 6'11 on the wingspan so I could get deep threes Hall of Fame. If you wanna do that, go ahead. But, you could also go point forward. Now let me show you guys something real fast. I know this video is taking a little long. With this build, I made it to where you get all the good takeovers. And if you don't want lock take, take this down to 88. Put that on strength. And there you go. Oh, whoops. Maybe 87? Let's get that extra playmaking badge. 
and there's play take so if you want to do play take and what I've been using a lot lately is ankle breaking shots fun very fun badge to use go limitless bang there's the build you get offensive threat but everyone's got offensive threat I don't see no one with the pump point forward out there now this is the last thing I'm gonna go into real fast you can also make the point forward a power forward but you will get a different name we're gonna do this real fast you'll get more shooting badges go doing it this way You'll get more playmaking badges, but you will not get as many defensive badges. We could just put that on the interior. That's a nice bill right there. 8, 20, 38. A little funky, but it'll work. And there you have the point power forward. So not two versions of the build, three versions of the build. Pick whichever one you want. And let me know, man. Let me know in the comments below. We're going to continue the playoff series, taking players from each of the games, each of the teams, players that are shining, and make them in 2K. I will not be making this build. I'm still trying to grind out my LeBron build. But someone else let me know how it is. If y'all got any suggestions for more builds or ideas for videos, leave them down in the comments below. Thank you for all the support. And it's been your boy, Chronic. I'm out of here. Peace.